Mm, Never underestimate the importance of a good title. Take Operation Logic Bomb, for instance. I have no inkling of what this game is supposed to be based on the title. Is there some kind of military motif? Is it a sequel to the NES game Operation Wolf? Or am I a surgeon operating on people? And what the hell is a logic bomb? It sounds like something Neil deGrasse Tyson would say in a rap battle. Dropping logic bombs on your ass. Turns out this is a top-down run-and-gun arcade-style game that might remind you of something like Super Smash TV. Only the structure here is, as the box says, search and destroy. You have to wreck every enemy in sight in order to unlock the next area and progress with the game. And you can do that by using a multitude of weapons that you can fire in eight different directions, starting out equipped with just a regular machine gun and a spread gun, but you can also acquire a flamethrower, a reflective laser weapon, and missiles, as well as mines you can place. The best special weapon, though, is the hologram of yourself that you can set up to lure enemies, like something out of Total Recall. That's awesome. But yeah, the gameplay here is pretty self-explanatory. Just shoot and dodge, shoot and dodge. Your life bar is pretty huge, and you have a few continues here, and if you die, everything you destroyed stays dead, so that's convenient. In other words, the structure here is a bit like Soul Blazer, if you remember that game. Operation Logic Bomb's first couple levels are pretty forgiving and allow you to get used to the speed of projectiles and the pace at which to dodge and fire, but the game does get pretty damn tough later on though. Eventually there's just too much to dodge, so you have to use your surroundings to protect yourself. You can hold down L or R and lock your aim so you can hit stuff from around corners. The reflective laser gun is also going to be extremely useful for avoiding gunfire. The key here is to trudge ahead slowly, which kinda sucks, but if you're not careful, you'll get blown into smithereens in no time. No saves or passwords here either. This is a game you gotta beat all the way from the beginning. As you progress, you come across these computer terminal things that give you a map of the area, replenish your health, or give you a cutscene from this game's strange story. There's no dialogue here at all, so it's up to the player to piece together what the hell is supposed to be happening. Something about a tear in the space-time continuum that's allowing aliens to evade, and you're a super soldier named Agent Logan who's created to stop them all or something? I have no idea. This game could be about waffle and bacon sandwiches and I wouldn't notice or care. There's some interesting background on Operation Logic Bomb. It's actually the third game in a series which originated on Game Boy with a game titled Fortified Zone, which plays very similarly and is actually pretty good in its own right. It got a Game Boy sequel that only came out in Japan, and then it made its way to the SNES, its Japanese title being Ikari no Yusai, no relation to Ikari Warriors that I know of despite having similar gameplay. Anyway, yeah, is Operation Logic Bomb worth playing today? I'd say so, it's perfectly okay, it's a very short game, but the gameplay is straightforward. I like how progressing through the game is predicated on having a knack for geometry, and the hologram decoy thing is a cool feature. The thing is, Operation Logic Bomb doesn't really have the same intensity as other top-down shooters like Super Smash TV. You know, the kind of game where you're gripping the controller so hard you can hear the plastic creaking. So it's not a must-play or anything really that special, but hey, don't be fooled by the goofy title. Operation Logic Bomb is a perfectly fine playthrough.